Now, look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here or do anything along those lines. Lion Maker, he's not a good person. If anything, he may be one of, if not the worst person I've ever spoken about on my channel. If you've been keeping up with my channel recently, I'm pretty sure you've noticed that I've been making lots of videos on Minecraft. I've spoken about loads of things regarding the Minecraft community, but most of my videos about Minecraft, they've involved Minecraft creators in some way or another. Primarily creators from a few years ago. If you haven't noticed, well, go watch those videos right now. Here's the thing, as much as we all love and cherish old Minecraft, me especially, it forms a massive chunk of my childhood, it isn't all good, now is it? Minecraft YouTubers from back in the day, you see, they've got a little bit of a stigma attached to them. This stigma being that, well, they... Uh, they like the audience members and not just as fans what's even worse is that the majority of their audiences they're kids yeah this stigma while it's obviously a mental generalization like most stigmas of course you're gonna find people who fit the description perfectly of course you're gonna find people like Lion Maker. Look, the law behind Lion Maker's misdeeds and transgressions. It's been covered loads and loads of time on YouTube by this point. So yeah, I am gonna be talking about it, but I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat brief and digestible. If you wanna find a more in-depth video, I don't know, go watch this video by Jay Aubrey or this one by Turkey Tom. With all that being said though, if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and if you want, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. One more thing, now I know this may make me sound like a little bit of a beg, but I think it would be absolutely mental if we could either reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year or get really close to it. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see some more, be sure to subscribe. As I said in the intro of this video, Lion Maker fits the description of that good old Minecraft content creator stigma. Now, Lion Maker, he was one of those massive Minecraft creators from a few years ago. He wasn't on the same level of guys like Skyder's Minecraft or Stampy, don't get me wrong, he had around 500,000 subscribers while they had millions, but 500,000 subscribers? That's still 500,000. I mean, that's half a million. A few years ago, when I was big into Minecraft YouTube, I never really knew a Lion Maker, and none of my friends watched him either. But the strange thing is, though, it seems like everybody nowadays knows who Lion Maker is. Mainly because if you were to ask somebody about him nowadays, we all have a very similar idea to who he is. Lion Maker, he's a bit of a diddler. When Lion Maker was 27 years old, he decided that it would be a brilliant idea to ask a girl who was apparently 13 years old at the time, you know, 14 years younger than him, for some very inappropriate pictures. Pretty bad, right? Well, that's not the worst thing he did. No, 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 no. If you were to watch one of Lion Maker's videos, you may have noticed that he was playing with a girl known as Paige the Panda, who was around 15 years old. Now, I don't know why Lion Maker thought this was a good idea, but nevertheless, he decided that he wanted to get into a relationship with her. Obviously, when this became known, people like Keemstar decided to call him out for it. Mainly because, well, to put it lightly, that's not really the best thing to do. All of that led to Lion Maker declaring that he would sue anybody who made videos on him or called him out. I have been going around on YouTube finding videos which talk about me in a slandering manner. Now, if you don't know what slander is, slander is a crime. It is my right to try the pos wherever I can, whatever possible means I have to take that video down. This Lion Maker situation, it was reaching boiling point. People were justifiably very angry at Lion Maker, and our good friend Lion Maker, he continued to dig, not, not just dig, like dig, 
his hole even deeper, especially in this video, Colossal is Crazy's Lion Maker interview. This is one of the most well-known videos about Lion Maker on YouTube, and one of the main reasons why Lion Maker has got such a damaged reputation overall. This video, it's got 1.9 million views after all. That's quite a lot of people. Now isn't it? All in all then, Lion Maker's reputation was pretty shattered on YouTube, so much so that his channel ended up being banned in the process. Though, don't get it twisted, this wasn't the end of Lion Maker's YouTube journey. The title of this video is probably going to be something dramatic, you know, like THE RETURN OF LION MAKER. Don't get me wrong though, it's not clickbait, Lion Maker did return the other day. He returned for around three days. For some reason, our wonderful YouTube overlords decided that Lion Maker was going to get his channel back. Though not his main channel, you know, the one with 500,000 subscribers. No, one of his smaller ones with around 50,000 subscribers. That he was also trying to rebrand as Leo Maker. Thankfully, he's since been banned again. But before I get into why he may have been unbanned, I'm going to get into what he did while he was back on YouTube. Lion Maker, he did get his channel back, but he didn't actually upload any videos onto it. In all honesty, while he was back he didn't really do anything massive, except well, except for one thing. For some or other reason known only to Lion Maker, Lion Maker decided that he wanted to do an interview with smaller commentary YouTuber and friend of mine, Wacky TV. Now, this interview it's around one and a half hours, so if you want to watch the whole thing, I'll have a link in the description of this video. But don't worry, if you don't have one and a half hours to spare, I asked Wacky TV to give me a summary of the whole thing. The summary of this interview is that I went through the timeline of events and got him to say each time, I did that, yes, that didn't happen, I feel bad for what I did. So it's almost like I got him to confess it all without asking. I got him to admit that he lied to Colossal because he told Colossal he's suing Keemstar when Turkey Tom showed he said he never did. I told him I knew about that and he said it was a lie. I got him to admit that he did engage IRL with the gold. I got him to clarify that the mother that went on drama alert wasn't even her mother. He also states that he was never suing anyone. Now, this interview... It's not perfect. After the interview got released, the man who released the original Lion Maker video, Colossal is Crazy, he gave some fair criticism that Wacky TV he actually agreed with. Quite the mental turn of events then. Once again, I just want to say that if you want to see the full interview, it's linked in the description. I think this is the main question on everybody's minds at the moment. How in all that's holy did Lion Maker manage to get his channel back? For once in my life, I don't have an answer for something. M maybe it's a YouTube bug. Maybe one of YouTube's brilliant and not flawed in any way pieces of coding. Maybe it broke a little bit. Or maybe... It's got something to do with this. Hi, Leo Maker. We're pleased to let you know that we've recently reviewed your YouTube account. And after taking another look, we can confirm that it is not in violation of our terms of service. We have lifted the suspension on your account, and it is once again active and operational. Let me... Let me just get this straight for a second. Did somebody on the YouTube team really decide that Lion Maker, of all people... Uh, he could rightfully get his channel back? Maybe this was approved by some outsourced team in the middle of India who don't really understand who Lion Maker is, that or they don't really understand what he's done. Or maybe it's another example of YouTube's automated systems doing a bad job. No surprises there. As I said earlier though, Lion Maker, he's been banned for good again, and hopefully it stays that way this time. I still don't understand though. How was this allowed to happen? Lion Maker, he's not a good person and he should not be allowed to have any platform on any social media site. Look, now I know I'm being harsh. I don't care. Lion Maker is one of the main reasons that the Minecraft content creator stigma exists in the first place. Keeping all of that in mind though, what do you guys think about Lion Maker returning? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.